Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program Fuckers. And today I've got a viewer request. This is from Mel Besha. Mel Besha. And he says to me, Hi Archie, first off, I must commend you on your ability to remain thoroughly entertaining yet relevant on the luxury watch collection scene. I love your content. Thank you. My question, what are your thoughts on the Corum brand? I'm quite fond of the vintage Admiral's Cup line of watches and I recently purchased a second hand reference uh, 985.630.20. I'm loving it as a steel chronograph beta. It features a decent ETA. Let me know your thoughts. Merry Christmas, Mel. Now this is from before, this is from late December. So I do apologize for this slow reply. Okay, let's have a think about that there. What do I think of Corum? What do I think? Let's take a small commercial break and I'll be right back. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece. We adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000. It's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best. Okay, fuckers, what do I think of Corum? Now, I'm going to have a little drink. A uh, bit of bit of bit of bit of uh, Chardonnay, fuckers, Chardonnay. Okay, now I can tell you the truth. Look, Corum is a very interesting brand. Okay, and uh, I've owned a few Corums. They are soft. They are soft. I actually bought my one of my former wives a Corum Romulus in 18 karat and uh, all I can say looking back in hindsight is thank fucking God I don't own it now uh, Corum what do I think look the sad thing is many years ago I was offered a Corum dress watch <coughs> for scrap gold value it was a solid gold Corum and uh, they, they, um, I don't know what's happened. The Admiral's Cup, I mean, you would have been so suave in the late 70s, early 80s. You had a quorum on your wrist, it's got the yachting flags on it. And um, the brand has gone really soft, it has gone really soft, and it's kind of sad because. They were some fucking expensive watches in the time. What do I think of Corum? I'll be honest with you. I think there's some great bang per buck watches there. They are semi-decent. They are a semi-decent brand. And on the gold Corums, they've got a lot of handcraft, hand, hand workmanship on it. A lot of intricacies in it. And uh, it's kind of sad that they've... They've had the ass fall out of them. So, look, Corum is one of these brands where they're kind of a, they're kind of a, they're just not popular now. They're very tough to resell, okay? If you're buying a Corum, you've got to make sure you get a deal on it because they are fucking hard to shift. They are fucking impossible. Are they a bad watch? Well, if you're prepared to accept it's got an ETA movement, which isn't terribly bad because Breitling used ETA. A lot of makers have used ETA. It wasn't so bad in the 80s. 
they they had some really expensive stuff and um, they had some really Corum had some really cool models they had that uh, that that see-through bridge type of Corum and um, they had some cool pieces. I, I, they, they've just gone soft. They're so soft now. It's like ice cream. It's been left in the sun. Fucking soft. But look, I, I, I wouldn't say a Corum is a is a fantastic piece. But if you pick it up cheap, it's not dog shit either. And uh, I, I, I think. You know, second-hand wise now, they aren't terrible. They aren't terrible. Would I buy one? No! No, I wouldn't, okay? I, I, I wouldn't buy one. If it was offered to me, I wouldn't touch it because they're soft. They're very soft. But are they a... a look, they are a very... I'd much rather buy a vintage Corum than a fucking new tag Hoyer. There's a fair bit of substance to them there. They're, they're not... The, Admir <coughs> the Admiral's Cup, that series there is... Um, they're quite cool. I, 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 I like them. I, I, I like them. Would I buy one? No. Are they anything... Fan they're, 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 don't get too carried away. They're not fucking fantastic. But I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't say they're shit in the same token. I wouldn't buy one. I'd never advise anyone to buy them. They're very soft watches. Very soft. They're kind of like Borman Mercer. I mean, Borman Mercer is a decent watch company. It's decent. But fuck did they have some dogs. Fuck did they have some dogs. And same with Corum. Corum was so cool. You know, if, if you were a playboy with the, you know, the, the blue blazer with the gold buttons and the the, the deck shoes and the, the tailored suit pants in grey. You were fucking... And you had your quorum on there. Fuck, you were so cool! You'd pop out of your Mercedes 450 SLC. You'd be so cool! But... It's aged. The Merc is sun damaged. The Playboy's got a pot belly and he's lost his hair. It's, it's aged badly, so... What do I think of a Corum? They're okay, but I wouldn't recommend anyone to actually buy one. So there you go. Uh, I think it's just, you know, out of 10, it'd be a 4.9. Okay, 4.9. I wouldn't buy one. Don't buy one. Don't buy one. If you're, if you're watching this video, I wouldn't buy one, but they're not dog shit in the same token. You, you know what I mean? They, they are a decent watch. They are decent. Sort of decent. But I wouldn't buy one. There you go. That's my opinion. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that.